Hey guys, thanks for clicking. Uh, today I'm going to tell you what happened when my son got sick this week and uh, just kind of how it all went out, especially with the whole COVID situation and just kind of going to give you an idea of what it's like just in case you are in that same situation to see if it's about the same. So it started out around 5.30 in the morning and he, which is early for him, he usually wakes up between six and seven. So 5.30 is early, but not super early, but normally he knows that he's not supposed to leave his room until at least six. Uh, but of course he had to vomit. So uh, that's an okay reason to get out of the room, I guess, right? Uh, so he woke up 5.30, he's in the bathroom puking. Of course I wake up and he's like, dad, I'm not feeling well. I'm like, okay, buddy, well, how can I help? We got him some water, all the other fun stuff. Uh, and you know he's like oh but i'm gonna miss school i'm like yeah it, that's going to be okay we'll be fine so the first thing in my head is oh my gosh uh we've been really kind of social more social this last few weeks you know he's been in school he's done hockey he's done his ninja training course ninja obstacle course class we've hung out with family friends we've hung out with uh, some neighborhood kids so he's been around a lot more people than what we have been earlier in this year. So, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, there's been so many people he's talked to. Um, later on in the morning, I sent a text message to his teacher who is absolutely wonderful. Let her know that, hey, T's not gonna be in school today. He's not feeling well. She said, great, let, thanks for letting me know. We're gonna have him do the, the remote class. So he didn't miss any school. He was able to do class uh, remotely in the afternoon because that's how they have our school set up in person in the morning, remote at home uh, in the afternoon. So that was nice. And then she reached out to the administration to find out what we need to do next. Uh, got a call from the school, uh, probably about an hour later. And they were just saying, okay, so here, you know, to get him back in school, we need you to do a COVID test. And uh, that was like the only option that they gave me. And I was like, okay, what are my other options if we don't do the COVID test? And they said, the other option is you can self quarantine for 10 days and come back 10 days later. And I said, okay, let me call my son over, see which one he'd rather do. So I'm thinking the COVID test is, you know, where they take that stick and basically touch your brain through your nose. And I'm like, I know he's not going to go for that, but I also know he's not going to last 10 days without uh, being self isolated. So we brought him in the room and said, Hey T, which one do you want to do? Uh, oh, and then, sorry. So we also found out that the, the test isn't a jam up the nose. You just have to take the Q-tip thing and uh, just kind of wipe around your nostril 15 seconds on each one. So not nearly as bad. So we asked he which one he rather would do. Would he rather, you know, do the, the swab test or 10 days of self-quarantine? And I had to kind of remind him that, that means that there's no hockey, you know, hanging out with your friends no ninja training course or anything like that. So he quickly said, nope, let's go ahead and do the test. So we scheduled the test for later on that morning. Uh, it was super simple. They have a place at the school district where we just go, we drove up, we, uh, they came to the car. They gave him, since he's nine years old, they said, you can do it yourself. They gave him the swab. He put it in his nose. He said it tickled. He was laughing the entire time. I counted to 15 for him. He put it into both nostrils. Uh, gave it back, all set, we're good. Uh, they said that they would either call us in the afternoon if it was came back positive for COVID, and they said they would email us if it was negative for COVID. So all throughout the day, we were uh, just waiting, checking my email, nothing happening. Uh, we started to take his temperature a little bit more, and throughout the day, he got a little bit warmer. Uh, he had a, like, a little bit of a fever, like in the 99.5 range, so it wasn't like a really bad fever. But that's when I started going, oh no, this might be it. This might actually be COVID. Please don't, because just the two of us, it's going to be really difficult to take, uh, to figure out how we're going to, to self-isolate us. But it turns out that um, we got the email later on saying, oh, everything is negative. You are all good. Uh, we knew that the next day he wouldn't be able to go to school because he has to be at least 24 hours without having a fever or puking uh, to go back to school. So uh, remind him that the next day he wouldn't be at school, even though he forgot in the next morning, he's like, let's go to school because he felt great. It was really one of those things, bugs that lasted roughly 24 hours. 
Um, but so we were super happy. Um, let's see. Yeah. So after we got the negative test, we reached out to the school that made sure that they got it. And they said, yep, yeah, they got it through the uh, school district because they are the ones that ordered it. So they got the test saying that negative. They said, as long as he doesn't have fever or pukes, uh, then he can come back the, uh, the following day. And we were all good. So we reached out to his teacher, let her know, let all my friends, anyone that he had contact with, because I did let them know, hey, we're we're getting tested for COVID or he's getting tested for COVID just to let them know, be aware that, hey, there's a, a small possibility. And then I let them know, nope, no COVID. So no worries on our end. And that was very positive. Today, he's back in school. He's really excited to be back in school. I'm excited to have a couple hours off. Uh, and get some work done and so i'm super happy as well i'm happy he's feeling better that's the main thing and plus now we can have more fun and do stuff and of course now it's storming outside so we're not gonna be able to play outside and do all the fun stuff that we want to do or he won't be able to play with his friends today but that's how life is right all right well speaking of my son if you want to see some of the silly videos that we do you can check out our other channel it's called silly pots i'll leave a link up there and at one at the very end of the video uh, for this channel, if you want to know more about me, my journey from foster care all the way through adoption, um, please go ahead and like this video, subscribe. If you have questions or if you have uh, suggestions on topics that you want to know about, about what we did, uh, please feel free to leave a comment down there. I love to hear those and I'd love to be able to give you guys some feedback because this has been a great experience for me and I'm hoping that other people, uh, it's a great experience for them as well. So thank you and I hope you have an amazing day.